the get login name uh, in the um, student uh, class uh, shows uh, two uh, new features uh, calling a, a method from another object in this case uh, the object uh, of class string and then using the result uh, the result from uh, this um, uh, method call uh, to use it for an expression. Um, in fact, the string class contains a substring method that has a header uh, that says uh, returns a new string containing the um, containing the characters from begin index to begin uh, to end index minus one uh, from this string uh, public uh, string uh, substring and the parameters are uh, int begin index and uh, int uh, end index. Uh, so in this case, uh, the first four characters of uh, the value in the names field are uh, taken and the first three characters from the value from the string value stored in the IDs field. And that's because uh, the index of a string starts from zero. So it concatenates these two uh, results into a single uh, string and then the uh, get login name method will return a string of that type. So now uh, for the exercises we can see first the example for uh, what would be returned by get login name for a student with name Henry Moore and ID 557214 it will be uh, as we said uh, the first uh, four characters uh, of um, the name and the first three characters of the ID so H, E and R are the first four characters of the name and 557 are the uh, first three characters of the ID. So uh, this gets concatenated and uh, it will get login name uh, with these uh, with these parameters. We we'll return well, well it's not with uh, with these fields uh, for name and ID with these values. It will return uh, H E N R five five seven double quotes. So it is a string. Um, now uh, draw uh, the initial state of a student. It is the first exercise. So. Uh, like we call it student one, student and it will have three fields mm, 
name uh, ID and uh, um, credits credits is initialized to zero as uh, into constructor uh, while uh, name and ID are assigned to actual parameters so this here will be a reference to an object string Benjamin Johnson and ID is also a reference to another string. Seven three eight three two one. Now uh, let's return to blue J and with this uh, project let's create uh, a student. The name is uh, DJB. The ID is eight five nine zero one two. Now I call get login name and I get an error. It says that string index is out of range for so this happened because uh, end of index minus one, basically th three, the index three in the string dbj doesn't exist. So uh, the method cannot return the substring. Uh, so uh, that's another. Now the string class defines a length accessor method with the header return the number of characters in the string public int length. So it can be used for a string variable full name with full name dot length. Uh, so add a conditional statements to the constructor of student. Uh, okay, here is the constructor. Uh, to print an error message if either the length of the full name parameter is less than 4 characters or the length of the student ID is less than 3 characters. Oh, okay, but the constructor should still use those parameters to set the name and ID fields. So I put the if next to the initialization. If name 
uh, name the client. Is less than four. System the print the name. And then a similar if statement for the ID. Oh, yes. Close the parentheses and semicolons. Okay, so it prints the two messages, but the fields are still initialized to the values that were provided as actual parameters for the constructor. So, um, appendix D for different types of if statements. Uh, I don't think they're needed. Okay, there is no else part. Okay, let's see. Okay, there is if and if else. If, if, let's see. Okay, so we've used this one. Turn back. Here. Now let's exercise. Uh, modify the login name. So 
that it always generates a login name. So if the strings are shorter, uh, you have to use the whole string. Okay, I think this is done with conditional statements. Tests are the same. It's it's the same it's the same. Actually. Here, uh, local uh, local variables can be useful because then you can use them to compute the substring from them. So we call it short name and short ID. Do you have to use the whole string? Okay, here we don't have to change anything. Oh no, it's no, no. What local variable should not be used? No, no, no. no. Uh, basically, uh, the return. Must change. Ah, but these should be nested. So uh, if both of them uh, there was a feature How to you layout? Okay. So if both are smaller, return just name plus ID. Otherwise, with the um, name plus ID dot substring zero three. Now, if bot no, if name is less than four characters and ID is more than three or three, and uh, it's Oh no, here. No, no, no. 
here it's named Vasily. Here it's named plus id dot substrate. No, wait. <laughs> Uh, name plus ID that's nice. Okay. Oh here it's a name. Hmm. So it's name plus ID. Here I'm sure it's like this. Okay, so here name name is less than four, so all of it should be used. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, so It's very nasty so it's does it is word I think it's right like it this. work shorter than the required No, this is too confusing. Um, maybe I local variables. Not it's less than four. Okay, let's try with local variables. Window train, the little train.
Okay, I should not have signed it in it. I make these two local variables then. If they not like it's less than four, you should name is equal to name. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> um. Same thing is for ID. Similar. Now I'm sure that it works. If I just concatenate short name with short ID. Because now I look at all the cases. Let's try it with one example. where both are short get to do error messages but then if I call a get login name it returns me the right uh, the right string 